What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be giving you guys some Sacramento bank fishing spots. Uh, so yeah, let's not waste any time, let's just get into it. So the first spot, many of you guys probably know some of the spots I'm about to mention, but for those of you who don't know or are new to fishing in the area, um, one of them is Discovery Park. Now what you can do is the Sacramento River, um, it goes off to the left, as you can see, and then it goes also, and then it exit off to the right which is the american river and what the shad and stripers and salmon do is that they either go all the way to the left or they go to the right so if you want to catch the ones that are going to the right to the american what you got to do is there's a park right here and then you just park right there walk down and there's a sandy beach area where you can toss like a flying sea for a salmon or s put on some sardines or pile worms for um stripers and stuff like that and if that spot is usually packed, then what we can do is take this trail and just keep on walking down until you find a spot. Okay, another spot would be this waterfront tower right here. Um, Matsui waterfront, it's a good area. The only down spot, um, the only down part is that it's usually a lot of people there. So trying to have a spot is pretty tough, but it's a good area overall for salmon and shad. Another park is also another good spot. Um, but like I said, at the waterfront, um, a lot of people fish there, so it's kind of tough to get a spot, but it's a good spot for, um, shad, striper, salmon, again, um, and there's an admission fee to park there, so, like, six bucks for a total, for six bucks for, like, a day, and then, like, for four hours, it's, like, three bucks, so if you don't want to pay, what I've seen people do is that they park where these cars are right here, park right there, and they just walk into the, um, marina or not the marina but miller <laughs> okay another spot um would be over here this barge canal right here sacramento deep water channel and what you do is you Sorry. oh all right so the sacramento deep water channel right here it's a good spot stripers run through there so what you can do is right here barge canal access you just come in boom you go in you just park you just park and that's it barge canal access you go in park in there where all these cars are at and you can go and fish this, this canal right here and what it is is just the deep water channel and there's plenty plenty of shade see there's many trees and let me see if i go to street view see plenty plenty of shade let's go over here yeah, as you can see there's plenty of shade and the entire, there's even the entire bank is fishable if you want to fish all the way over there. So, yeah, this entire bank is fishable, guys. Just come in, park your car right there, and you can fish this entire bank if you guys want to. Just keep on walking down. But it's a long walk. Washington Lake is also another good area. Um, I don't know how you would get in, but I've heard people catching some big bass there. So, yeah. All right, moving down to pocket area so the pocket all it is is just a big sandbar <laughs> at least from what i know when i fish in pocket is just a big sandbar and what a sandbar is is just a sandy area and it's also there's also a shoal right here haycock shoals and what these stripers do on these shoals and um sandbars they feed they spawn they do other things on the shallow shoals and sandbars and um they leave for the day they leave in the afternoon into deeper water to rest so during the morning that's the prime time when you want to fish these shoals and sandbars so and also there's a canal right here so what you can do this what well, there's a canal usually there's a pump nearby so the pumps that pump into the water as you can see there's a pump right here there's now pumps are really good because when the pumps are on the shad like the water coming into their face and where the shad go the stripers go so if you find a pump that is on it's prime fishing time just throw a swim bait or anything and let it drift in the current and usually you'll get bit within like the first or second cast um but sometimes like you can see right here it's kind of dark in that area so that means that pump was just on um, make sure you're not the pumps are pretty strong so make sure you're not fishing right in the pump like don't stand right into the pump or else the water would like take you away it's pretty strong so be careful and when the pump is if the pump is not on then what you can do is 
just come over here and just throw some bait because if the stripers are there they're gonna eat the bait anyways and sometimes they just wait for the pump to come on and they just wait there so what you can do is just soak some sardines uh blood worms pile worms or anything and just sit there and there's plenty of shade too as you can see there's good there's good sized trees where there's could be some good shade now where you get here all you do is just park on any of these neighborhoods like sailfish way and any of those places just make sure don't park in places where it says no parking just don't do that because you might get towed or take it so it's not worth it but yeah i think sailfish way should be fine just walk over the levee and just walk down and then it should be right there so yeah that's one spot for you guys freeport here's another good spot um right here at the wall i'm sure many of you guys know this spot too um you can fight you can fish either way either side of the wall the rocky side or the sandy side and it's like another sandbar so like i said in the pocket area the stripers hanging there and feeding there's also a pump right here this long line they shoot out water and it just helps the current i'll show an arrow where the current is usually going on the sacramento river right now and it's always going that direction and the pump is pumping it that that direction too so what's coming down the current is all the food the shad the crawdads the bluegills and the stripers what they do is they sit right next to this wall and the the water just comes by and they come out to the current and they pick whatever they want and run back into the slow current so they're not expending too much energy and uh, if you search on youtube i think there's some videos on people catching some good size stripers right next to the, this wall right here so yeah it's a good it's a good also a good place to um, soak some bait too as you can see there's some pumps right here um yeah An entire area to fish as well now freeport's also a good good area the whoops the let's see the green bridge is a good area for shad and stripers because it's like because it's another sandbar too like i said um but the only downside is you can see there's cars a lot of there's usually a lot of cars fishing there so trying to get the spot is a tough tough time but don't worry because there's some other parking spots in freeport i'm sure most of you guys really know um i wouldn't recommend fishing stripers or bait fishing because you might get stuck it's really rocky there on the freeport area like right here somewhere like let's see and i'm going street view street view real quick and i'll show you guys where you guys can park and stuff so like you can park right here as you can see you can just park right here it looks like at this time they were doing construction but um like anywhere in this direction right here right and walk over on the levee there's a trail already and then walk over it's a good place for salmon for salmon and shad for salmon and shad it's a good place for them throw a flying sea or throw whatever you need for shad and then yeah it's a good spot all right moving down over here here is also another good spot if you can find a parking space uh, if you're just driving down this road usually you'll see people parked on the farmer side and it's usually a good spot but, um park there because um it's the parking space isn't as big but um, I know it's a good sturgeon area if you can find the parking space. I've seen people do it. It's doable. So yeah, just be careful if you guys are planning to park there. And usually if you guys want to know the spot, usually there's people fishing there already. So you just mark that place and um, come back to it when no one's fishing. Moving into the Cortland and Painterville area. Um, so what you want to do is um, this is my favorite spot for stripers, for casting for stripers. You just cross this Paintersville Bridge right here, make a right, and then there would be an open space right here. You can park anywhere right here and come down, cross the road. Be careful in crossing the road. And then um, you see there's some trails already. And um, yeah, it's a good jerkbait area. It's nice and deep, so you can't really get snagged. And what you do is you get your jerkbait and you just cast out in the middle of the river and the current will take it and it'll end up being right here on the edge and you just keep on working it back to you until you get bit um you can parallel the bank with the jerk bait or you can cast out in the middle of the river like i said and just repeat that process until you get bit um anywhere if you want to catch jerk bait stripers another good spot is this pretty much this entire river right here i say from Cortland all the way down to vorden is a good jerk bait area spot um as long as you find an opening the stripers are going to be there because they're coming up through the river anyways so as long as you find an opening it's a good area to fish. Um, I'm thinking about doing a part two, guys. So let me know if you guys want to see a part two. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. 
hope this helped you guys catch more fish and yeah thanks for watching peace